Hey guys, this is Paul. Tonight I wanted to go over my AK build. This is the Stava M92 PAP chambered in 762 by 39. Let's start in the front of the pistol. This is a CNC Warrior muzzle brake. It is great at what it's supposed to do. Keep the muzzle flip down and create massive fireballs. Right here is a Streamlight Protec. 750 lumens of beaming light. Great for outdoor applications, but I would not recommend such a bright light indoors. On the other side, I mounted a Crimson Trace Red Laser. I honestly had uh, had it for a couple of years and had nothing to put it on, so uh, it's my secondary aiming device here. My red dot blocks out uh, the iron sights, so unfortunately it is not co-witnessed. Uh, the red dot is a budget option TRS-25 by Bushnell. It's not a very expensive optic, but in its price range, it cannot be beat. Below is the Magpul angle grip. All of this is sitting on the Midwest Industries quad rail. This pistol is very front heavy. It's not something I plan on holding for extended periods of time. Uh, and I think the weight really helps with the recoil control. The paint job was done by me. Nothing fancy, just some uh, serious prep work and spray paint. I wanted that rough worn look that really complements the durability and reliability of this platform. Moving on to the back of the pistol. US machine gun folding adapter. Really easy to install, no tapping and drilling. It slides under the pistol grip and is held on by a rather thick and durable bolt. The pistol grip is a Hogue rubberized version. It's very comfortable and has a little more beef to it than the original AK grip, which I find too skinny. The shockwave blade is by far my favorite part of this pistol. Before I installed it, this pistol was sitting around collecting dust. Now it's easily my favorite firearm. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Until next time.